Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nadia and this is the place where we get real. And today I'm getting real about flirting because I get a lot of questions about this topic. Flirting isn't necessarily a skill that comes naturally to all of us, but the good news is it is a skill that can be learned and I am going to be breaking down for you today exactly how to flirt so that you can have more success with the people that you find attractive. Welcome back to my channel. Are you serious with me? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I am just gonna come out and say it. I am a mega flirt. I flirt with everyone and I flirt constantly. But I didn't always used to be this way. In fact, I actually, believe it or not, used to be really shy talking to people. I used to get really nervous and if I was around someone who I thought was attractive, oh my gosh, I would die. I would freeze up. I wouldn't know how to act. And I feel like I would just be like the worst version of myself around that person because I was so overcome with nervousness. And so I know what that feels like. I know you guys see me, the confidence version of me but trust me this was not always this way and one of the things that helped me to boost my confidence ironically was learning how to flirt because when I knew how to flirt with people I knew how to be charming and engaging in conversation and that actually helped me to be more confident in every aspect of my life and you can be more confident too and you can also be better at flirting so I'm going to share with you my top tips on how to do it. These are tips that have actually worked for me. They're really simple and they're really easy for you to start doing as soon as you finish watching this video. So let's get straight into number one. So for a very long time, I used to have a very kind of serious, like resting face. Some people refer to it as RBF, otherwise known as resting bitch face. <laughs> Which I don't love. I don't really love that label. I think it's a little bit sexist But in all fairness, I did constantly have a very serious look on my face all the time and people would Always ask me what's wrong. Are you okay? Is everything all right? Because I always looked so serious when actually I was just I guess in my normal state and I just looked very serious. And one thing that I noticed was a girlfriend of mine, and this was a friend who wasn't necessarily the prettiest girl in the room, but she definitely was the girl who attracted the most men in the room. And something I noticed about her was that no matter where she went, no matter what she was doing, no matter what she was talking about, she was always smiling. In fact, even when I think of her now, I think of her smiling because that's how she always is. And I realized that when we smile, we are naturally so much sexier and more attractive and we're more approachable to other people as well because it makes us look like we don't take ourselves too seriously which is why these days I smile a lot. I'm sure you guys have noticed I smile in these videos when I make them because I want you guys to see that I am actually fairly chill. I, I mean, I can be chill sometimes. No, I, I really can actually be very uptight at times. <laughs> But I also can actually be laid back and chill as well. And I love what I do and I want that to come through because people who are happy in their lives with what they're doing and with who they are as people, those people are attracted. Smiling projects confidence. Even if you're not confident, if you just start smiling, you will look more confident. So starting today, try to make a conscious effort to smile more and specifically to smile around the person you're attracted to. Men in particular are terrible for not smiling when they're around a woman they find attractive because men have been taught that in order to look masculine and strong, you need to look very stern and serious all the time. But for women, it just makes you look as a guy like you're not approachable. Women love guys who are funny and love to laugh and joke and not take themselves too seriously, which is why there's really nothing more attractive than a man who smiles a lot. You don't even need to have really great teeth. Just smile. Just be confident in the smile you have and you will naturally, instantly be more attractive. 
people think flirting is this really super sexual thing. Yo, baby, you have your asshole licked by a fat man in an overcoat? But actually, it's really not. Flirting is actually just about having really good, engaging conversation with people and with being someone that people want to be around and that they have fun being around when they're engaging in a conversation with them. And one of the best ways you can do that is by showing genuine interest in the person's life of the person that you're talking to. So if someone's telling you about their job, don't immediately change the topic to something else or don't immediately start talking about your own job experience. Show interest by asking them more questions about what they're telling you. If they're telling you they've started a new job, ask them whether they're liking the job. Ask them where the cool employees hang out at their workplace or if they, um, you know, have discovered like where the, the good cafes are that are near their work. Show an interest in what the person you're talking to is saying and you will naturally be more charming and you will naturally be more engaging to be around and that person will want to spend more time with you because the reality is, and it sounds terrible, but it's the truth, people like talking about themselves. Self-included, love to talk about myself. Hence why I have a YouTube channel. So if you ask someone about themselves and you take an interest in what they have to say, they're gonna feel really happy around you. And that is a really important and very overlooked part of what it means to flirt. Touching is so key to flirting, but it is about really non-invasive touch. You never ever wanna be creepy with the way you're touching someone and you never ever want to make someone feel like you are really breaching a boundary. And that's why you should never touch someone straight away when you're talking to them for the first time. You should first get a general sense of how you're being received by that person. Now, if the conversation's going well, you guys are laughing, you're smiling, lots and they're really enjoying spending time with you and you can tell that in their body language because they're standing closer to you they're facing their body towards you as opposed to facing their body away like they're trying to leave the room then you can go in for some very light touch and my favorite kind of touch to do is a quick one second touch of the elbow area so i touch on someone here, this section here, and I do it with just one second. So if someone has told a really good joke, I'll say to them, gosh, you're a good joker. You, you come up with the best jokes. You should be a comedian one day. So it's very quick. It's just touching them while I'm making that point and then immediately taking it away. If you touch someone and you hold your hand there, it can feel really creepy and really invasive, especially when you don't know someone well. It can be very, very uncomfortable. People who are really good at flirting know the art of touching quickly and they know the art of not touching people in places that are gonna make them feel really uncomfortable so I would never flirt with someone and touch them for example on their neck or on their stomach or on their thighs or even their face those things are much more vulnerable areas of a person's body they're much more intimate and so they're not areas that you should be touching when you're just having a conversation with someone this area here around the elbow it's really safe it's not gonna make the majority of people feel uncomfortable. And you can also gauge after you do it, if the person still is being receptive and still continuing the conversation with you, that that was okay, that they were comfortable. If they abruptly end the conversation, then maybe you wanna pull back on the touching. So next time you're making a point when you're saying something or you're laughing at someone's joke, just very quickly and very gently touch them on the elbow take your hand away. It creates that bond and just creates that more sort of feeling like there is something different happening in your conversation that is a little bit more flirtatious than what would be happening in just any other conversation with someone. My biggest secret to becoming a really good flirt and the way that I actually became really good at flirting, well, I like to think I'm good at flirting, I think I am. <laughs> and also really confident in myself and really just, I feel like now I can really talk to anyone and I definitely didn't used to be that way, is by using this little secret. And this secret is to flirt with everyone. That means flirting with people that you're actually not attracted to at all. People that you're not trying to kind of start any kind of 
relationship or even anything sexual with, but just practicing flirting on everyone so you can be good at it. And the great thing about flirting is that flirting is not an overtly sexual thing. Flirting is actually just being charming. It's actually just being someone that's really fun and a bit cheeky and just enjoyable to be around. It's people that we call charismatic and charming. Those tend to be people who are really good at flirting. And so for that reason, you can flirt with anyone and it's not going to be creepy or sexual or weird because what you're really doing when you're flirting is just being really fun and cheeky and charming. So I started out actually just practicing flirting like with the lady who puts my groceries in a bag at the supermarket. I actually cracked a joke while she was filling my bag about something that I had bought or something that I had seen in the store and she laughed and I struck up a conversation. I said to her that she had like a really nice hair clip in her hair and that made her feel really good. So then she started telling me about where she bought the hair clip and I took an interest. I asked her more questions about it. That's all you need to do to get started. Just break the ice with a fun little comment or a joke, a compliment and a non sleazy or creepy compliment, just a really safe compliment, something like, wow, those are really stylish shoes. Or I just love your laugh. You have the most contagious laugh. Or wow, you're really good at doing that thing that you're doing. Whether it's packing the groceries or making your coffee. Just giving a safe compliment like that can be a great way to get someone to start talking to you and to practice flirting. Practice smiling while you're talking to them. Practice not taking yourself too seriously. I did this for several months and I actually started doing it at work because I realized the place that I used to work at when I had my old job, it was a big corporate building and there were over 50 people in that building and I only knew like two of them. I had never bothered to actually get to know the other people in the building just because I didn't work with them directly. And so for my flirting challenge that I gave myself, I made a point to talk to each and every one of them over the next few months and I got to know them all by name and then I would see them when I would come out of the lift in the morning and I would say, hey John, hey Peter, hey Paul, I don't know why I am using disciples names, but you guys get the point. I, I got to know these people by name and I actually ended up making friends out of it. And I actually ended up really enjoying going to work because I built these really nice relationships with the people I worked with. And because I was just focusing on being charming and taking an interest in people and smiling, I didn't come across as weird or creepy. I didn't come across as being inappropriate at work because I was really, just being really good at engaging people in conversation. And that's what flirting is. And so what eventually happened was when I did meet a guy that I was like super duper attracted to when I was dating, I didn't get nervous. I just started flirting with him because by that point I'd been flirting with everyone. And so to me, he just became another person to flirt with and it really got rid of my nerves. And so I can't recommend this enough as a skill to go and start putting into practice today. Let me know if you consider yourself a good flirter and if you're going to take up the flirting challenge and try this and try flirting with everyone after you finish watching this video in the comment section down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't hit it already. I am here every Monday and Friday. Hit the notification bell as well so that YouTube notifies you when my videos go live because otherwise you won't see them when they're going up. And I will see you guys in the next video.